Hi friends, our today's topic is boats and stream and this is the fourth video on boats and stream and in this video we are going to learn few of the very important question which has been already asked in SSC CCL and this kind of questions will be repeatedly asked in your upcoming exams. So let's try to understand the question and we'll try to solve it here. So in a fixed time a boy swims double the distance along the river that he swims against the river or the current. If the speed of current is 3 km per hour, then the speed of the boy in the still water. So whatever data is given in the question, let's write here. So in a fixed time, so time is fixed. Right. That means downstream time and upstream time is same. Downstream time is equals to upstream time, right? They're telling in a fixed time. So that we wrote it here. And then what they're telling? A boy swims double the distance along the river that he swims against the river. So along the river is nothing but downstream. So suppose this is downstream and this is upstream. So in downstream he is travelling two times of the distance whatever he is travelling in the upstream. See the reason is in downstream the boat and the stream both will move in the same direction and that is the only reason the speed will be more. So you will be able to cover more distance in downstream compared to upstream right and time of downstream and time of upstream is same right okay and what else they have given if the speed of the current is 3 km per hour so a speed of current and we denote it using V is given 3 km per hour and a speed of boat or speed of man we have to calculate which we will write it or which will assume it x kilometer per hour right okay so see downstream distance is given 2d upstream distance is given d time is given i mean time is same so time is also given and then what you have what else you have to find it out here is downstream speed and upstream speed so we know downstream speed will be what downstream speed is denoted as a and a will be u plus v a speed of the boat and plus a speed of the stream so this will become my downstream speed and what will be upstream speed upstream speed will be denoted by b and upstream speed will be x minus 3 kilometer per hour see down so in case of downstream downstream the speed will be added the reason is boat and stream boat will be moving in the same direction so a stream will put a force on the boat so boat will move fast right so in downstream the speed will be added and in upstream the speed will get subtracted right so we got the downstream speed upstream speed and we know the distance also and with the time also so time is same for downstream and upstream speed right okay now we know the formula d is equal to st so t will be d by s so what is the downstream distance downstream distance is 2d and what is the speed a speed is downstream is x plus 3 is equals to upstream distance is d and upstream speed is x minus 3 right so d and d will get cancel so 2 into x minus 3 is equals to x plus 3 and 2 x minus 6 is equals to x plus 3 so x will become 9 kilometer per hour so the speed of the person or speed of the boy or the speed of the boat will be what 9 kilometer per hour so my answer will be 9 kilometer per hour and this is one of the question asked in ssc ccl question number two a man can row 18 km per hour in still water. So they have given the speed of boat which is denoted by u is 18 km per hour right okay and then it takes him thrice as long as to row up as to row down means suppose this is your downstream and this is your upstream. So distance is same but in upstream it is taking three times whatever it takes in downstream so suppose downstream they are covering in t time then for upstream they will cover in 3t time see the reason is because in upstream the boat has to go against the river right okay and then what they are asking find the rate of a stream so basically they are asking a speed of a stream or a speed of river or current whatever so let's assume this is x kilometer per hour right okay so distance is same for upstream and downstream right and time is different so let's calculate 
downstream speed so downstream speed will be what a speed of boat and plus a speed of a river or a, a speed of a stream so 18 plus x kilometer per hour and what will be upstream speed so upstream speed will be boat speed minus stream speed which is 18 minus x kilometer per hour right okay now the distance of upstream and the distance of downstream is same right and we know distance is equal to speed into time so what is speed in upstream so speed in upstream is 18 minus x and what is time time in upstream is 3t and what about downstream downstream 18 plus x is the speed and time is what t t and t cancel 18 minus 3 is 54 minus 3x is equals to 18 plus x now 54 minus 18 is equals to 3x will go that side so it will become 4x so 4 minus 86 and 4 minus 1 is 3 so 4x is equal to 36 x will be 9 kilometer per hour that means the speed of the stream or rate of the stream will be 9 kilometer per hour this will be my answer